Hi everyone, welcome back to another Dev Updates. This is more Halloween themed, as you can tell by this spooky background. So it says, uh, Lemon Lama here. So this is about version 5.22. Uh, this will be released coming Tuesday. So Tuesday the 4th. So not that long, not that long, in a couple of days. So I'll go for it quickly because it's mostly skill changes and a couple cosmetic stuff, but uh, they are adding some new skills, which I didn't mention before. So this is quite interesting. I wonder how we'll change the skill builds completely. So there's going to be new skill tree skills. So backstab is a tier three rogue skill, which increases your critical damage during deadly strike. Uh, combat techniques is a tier three summoner skill, which increases your equipment pet effect and your active pet. So the Even Tide Afterglow is a tier 5 Night Tree, which increases the Twilight Fairies damage per multicast and a maximum number of Twilight Fairies multicasts. And the Twilight Fairies multicast to increase your Twilight Fairies damage, Shadow Clone, Splash Count, and Heavy Strike. And then you've got Galvanized Mast, which is a tier 5 Warlord uh, skill, which increases the Thunder Ship damage per multicast and the maximum number of Thunder Ship multicasts. Thunder Ship multicasts will increase your Thunder Ship damage and the Thunder Volley charge speed. Lotus Loaded Dice is a tier 4 Rogue skill, which increases your all gold, all probabilities when haste is active, haste chance. To note, haste can only spawn up to max stage. And so mainly all these skills that they, they've um, added basically one for each build um so you know you've got your dagger build your pet build your uh shadow clone heavy strike um and then your pet, um shadow uh, clan ship build so they made it even so i would imagine it wouldn't make uh, the way they do the builds they don't make one build supremely higher than the other build they're all kind of standardized it's just more of a play style so for example uh, when you first start the game i always mention clan ship build being the start of build but that's mainly because most of the damage is based in in heroes um, so your clan ship and your heroes so that's why you should choose clan ship but once you're later on in the game like mid game or late game um, if you change build for example like heavy strike build or dagger build it doesn't give you a significant boost it doesn't give you like 10,000 extra stages or uh, better gameplay they're all pretty much the same if you've, you've leveled up your artifacts properly and you've got all the artifacts all the enchantments um, you you kind of there's only like a few hundred between like two to five hundred stages difference between like the slowest one and the fastest one so it's more about play style for example heavy strike is a very active build um, where you've got to smash the spells very pretty much consistently but you've got to have higher mana regen so the amount of skill points you put to mana regen it doesn't push as much um same with stuff like on like, like dagger has to be semi-active but again it does push a bit but it's not as fast as heavenly strike and then you've got the the other end of the spectrum which is shadow clone which is not pushing hasn't got much power but it's it's very um easy playing they call it like a lazy build because you don't have to activate it that much it's good for farming because it's kind of self plays so it's a different play style um so i still think they will have this it just give it a booster on each build but there won't be one build that's as far superior than the other ones now they do say they display um a couple changes on the actual visuals so display a lock when skills are not available to use and display what stage or required number of skill points need to unlock a skill and skill tree so just more clarity they've got the headless horseman legendary equipment set which is uh, more shadow clone damage and shadow clone splash which is good because i use a shadow clone build and bone knight which gives shadow clone damage so i'm looking forward to this because um, on my account not the um account i'm doing the beginner account that's still clanship, but my main account, which I think is at 150,000 stage, I use Shadow Clones. I'm looking forward to this. And new Sticky Fruit Artifact Enchantment and Global Raid Halloween event begins. So, uh, Foul Infestation Profile Background, Attack on Global Raid Event Currency, Ancient Vampire, Crackling Witch, Grim Reaper, Scarecrow Jack, and Toxic Slayer. These are like previous Halloween event equipment sets. Spooky Chestons and Fairies, and Spooky Loading Screens. And the skill point is going to be times two if you want to do that for the Titan chest promotion. So general changes. So there's some rework to school trees, which is they've done a lot of reworks to the school trees. Um, so iron, iron out all the changes. So we've got ambush moved from tier tier to two three. Assassinate moved from tier moved from tier three to tier two. Burn and passion moved from four to five on the summer screen. Uh, cloaking moved from tier four to two two. And cloaking is now active anywhere between your max stage. Lower 
maximum level from 10 uh, sorry 15 to 10 total effect remains same just with lower cost to max the skill uh this basically means that you don't spend as much to cloaking and the whole point of cloaking is that you basically splash through stages at the beginning of a new run so essentially what that means is going to cost you less to get maximum cloaking which is a good thing because it means you can splash through the beginning of the stage so people who use cloaking basically use it um to make them run faster that's pretty much it the beginning of your runs you splash through a couple more stages it just makes the run time a bit shorter uh companion warfare removed equipment pet effects added companion da damage Her heroic might remove inspired hero count added war cry duration master thief move from tier two to tier one and pet evolution added pet auto attack which is again that's that's a uh uh, another quality of life added benefit just makes the playing of the pet build a bit easier. Poison Edge moved from tier 2 to tier 3 race degree, uh, rogue skill tree and added dagger. I can't speak today, tongue tied. Uh, added dagger smash skip, searing light, removed inspired hero weak point damage, removed war cry duration, added war cry damage, added inspire, inspired hero count. Summon dagger moved from tier 1 to tier 2 rogue skill tree. Uh, ski rogue skill tree added dagger cooldown i will get there uh summoner circle move from tier three to four and stroke of luck removed skill entirely that's an interesting one the stroke of luck uh weak point throw move moved from tier three to four uh remove blade stream target duration added a blade stream target damage and now what all these tiers mean about when they were mean by tiers in the skill trees when you get a skill tree at the top uh, you have different rows so you normally have like one skill at the top which you need to unlock to unlock the rest of the tree now the first one is tier one the second row is tier two uh, third row is tier three and so forth to make it a bit more clear i'll bring it up now so just load it up there you go so that's tier one that's tier two that's tier three that's tier four so that's what it means by tiers if you've ever wondered what tier means um that that that's pretty much it tier one two three and four so one two three four that's a tier five it doesn't mean uh tier five is significantly better than tier two it's just when it means tier it's just the the, the row it's on that's it um by increasing um by changing the main thing is about changing tier for example if you change the tier three to tier uh tier four to tier three it just means you'd be able to unlock it sooner than later um so it means it requires less skill points to unlock so in some aspects it will change builds for example uh, say you've got deadly focus if you moved it to right at the beginning instead of stroke of luck well this is getting rid of it totally anyway it just means you have um, more multi damage and deadly strike damage um, damaged sooner than later which is a good thing for certain builds so that's essentially what it means um so enforceable game restarts if necessary server side up is uh, update is deployed players will receive shutdown notice um with a time in the game cool once the time expires the game will close reopen the game with downloading new content automatically allowing you to continue playing players can choose to close the game uh, early and download the update immediately vip fairy add closure rework so vip three or higher closing the fairy ad will collect the fairy ad bonus oh cool so don't have to, we don't have to collect ourselves it auto collects display number of wild cards of player export removed retire retire button from clan raid hmm. synced stage rush with event currency and stages 98 percent of your max stage raised side of march inactive cap to 99 percent yeah that basically means uh raising that side of march inactive just means if you're like a, a busy person like me and you know you've got family kids work nine to five um or work many hours in a week then it just means you don't play it much i pay like half an hour a day if i can half an hour to an hour of obviously doing youtube videos and stuff so it means inactive it means you push a lot higher to your max stage so essentially um what i do with my main account <clears throat> so i log in do my raids do my dailies um restart and then it means within the you know four hours shift and my lunch break i can then obviously prestige and do it again which essentially means i'm grinding more stages so i know that i'm going to reach a higher stage when i prestige which is good a uh, clan loyalty rework decrease required clan morale for higher levels of clan loyalty uh front loaded advanced start bonus sly wolf legendary equipment set reworks so remove site march uh, stage bonus added critical damage hidden viper legendary equipment set so removed cloak stage bonus added cloak skip amount and added a six hero ascension 
Interesting. It hits six hero is ascension. Hmm. Max stage cap. Finally, it's here. Max stage cap. Uh, they've been put off for a very long while, to be honest. So um, they have. I think it's been like three months, maybe more, maybe four months. So to be honest, um, it's, it's stage cap to stage cap to hundred sixty to hundred eighty is only twenty thousand stages. I say only. Um, obviously, the wells and the top will get there straight away. I'm still at hundred fifty two or something. Um, so I still got a way to go. But there we go, 180,000 stages. It seems massive when you think about it. Added milestone bundles between those gaps. Added new avatars unlocked at stage 170,000. Added the sunlit blossom shrine and the moonlight blossom shrine profile backgrounds unlocked at 165, 175 respectively. Raised stage rush cap to 36,000. Added the three skill tree reset tokens to start an inventory for all abysmal tournaments. Improved total of wild cards in dust stop improved equipment set recommendations right cool so there's bug fixes i won't go for the bug fixes because they're minor um so let me know what you what are you looking forward to most on the next update and do you think the changes of the skills and the up skills and down skills will make a significant difference to the builds if so let me know in the comments below and what build you'll use and i'll see you all in the next video take care